when we discuss what the design aesthetic is of our work, we one of the strongest and most important things to us is that our work sits historically in the right place, that, that it feels like it lived and belonged in a particular time in history. Even if it may be a totally fictitious and fanciful story, for the actor to feel like they belong and for them to portray their, their place in the story, we feel it's very important that likewise the props and the swords and the armour and the weapons that they use should sit comfortably in that period. The raw materials that we use um, are essentially the same that were used in the Middle Ages and earlier. The main difference today is how they're processed and how we get them. The process of designing a single weapon or uh, you know, a blade uh, it's very much a collaborative one because we have a group of half a dozen or more designers and usually at least two or three of us will be working on a job together. So given that we all sit in the same studio together, we'll be talking about design while it's going on, um, bouncing ideas off each other, stealing from each other's drawings, there's nothing precious about it. We all basically are trying to get to the same goal, which is the final design. The techniques that we use here at Weta Workshop uh, in the creation of swords uh, in some ways very similar to the techniques uh, used by the ancients for hundreds and even thousands of years for creating swords. In other ways they're very different. But when you consider it as the process of sword making evolved over hundreds of years, the, the technician, the swordsmith would utilise the best known skills, techniques and equipment of that particular time in history to try and make the best swords possible. That's exactly the case today. If we have two and a half months to deliver two and a half thousand weapons, they have to be of the best quality and safety that we can deliver, then we are going to use all of our known technologies and each, even reach further into technologies we yet haven't discovered and explore ways that we can create more superior product. They can see that they are working on a canvas that is the final film with a large number of other people and they must place their brush strokes with incredible care, dexterity and artistry if the painting is to be all it should be.